Hello students, I hope you all are doing well at your home. Today I will teach you about the electrolyte concentration cell, its applications and some conventions and notations of electrochemistry which are very useful in solving the numerical problems. So let's start today's class. Electrolyte concentration cell. In these cells, electrodes are identical but these are immersed in solution of same electrolyte of different concentration. In electrolytic concentration cell, two half cells are having same electrodes and same electrolyte solution. Like uh, if I am taking example of zinc concentration cell, then zinc in zinc sulphate and both half cells are having zinc in zinc sulphate. But only the difference between the concentration of zinc sulphate solution in both half cells. So, here the electrolyte concentration cell works because of the difference in the concentrations of two half cells and it is a general tendency to diffuse from a higher concentration to lower concentration. So, by this way it generates the electricity. Electrolyte concentration cells are similar as galvanic cells. They are also used to produce electricity. But of course, the amount of electricity is very low as compared to the normal galvanic cell. The source of electrical energy in this cell is the tendency of electrolyte to diffuse from a solution of higher concentration to that of lower concentration. With the expiry of time, the two concentrations tends to become equal. And when the concentration become equal, there is no production of electricity. So, in starting the EMF of concentration cell is highest and gradually it falls to zero. Such cell is represented in following manner. Here example is given where M stands for MN plus, M stands for metal, MN plus stands for electrolyte solution. C1 stands for concentration of first cell and C2 represents the concentration of electrolyte in second half cell. So here you can see that both metals are same means electrodes are same and also the electrolytic solutions are same but only the difference between the concentration of electrolyte solution. C1, C2 represents different concentrations and two line represents the salt bridge between the two half cells. Here C2 is greater than C1. The EMF of the cell is given by the following expression at 25 degree centigrade. This expression is same as Nernst equation, only the difference that here E0 is not present. So why it happens? Because the value of E0 will be equal to 0 as the both are same, both electrodes are same. So obviously both are having same standard electrode potential and when we are going to calculate the E0 value, this will become 0. Here an example of electrolyte concentration cell is given. The example is of zinc in zinc sulphate solution. You can see that in right side diagram, a cell is there in which two compartments. In both compartments, the electrodes are zinc and the solution of zinc sulphate is filled. So the zinc is dipped into the zinc sulphate solution. Only the difference between the concentration of two zinc sulphate solutions. One is higher and second one is lower in concentration. The electrode of the cell can be represented as the first half cell electrode is shown by the Zn slash ZnSO4 C1. C1 the concentration 1 and Zn, ZnSO4 C2 means second concentration. This one is second electrode. So the complete cell can be represented by putting a salt bridge between the two half cells. These are the first, these two are representation of half cells and this one is complete cell. The reaction taking place at the electrodes are Oxidation electrode Zn gives Zn2 plus where the concentration is 1. Means at lower concentration the oxidation reaction takes place 
and this electrode is oxidation electrode whereas reduction electrode zn2 plus gives zn it this happens at second concentration means at second concentration reduction reaction occurs and that act as cathode the overall reaction is given by zn2 plus c2 concentration gives zn2 plus c1 concentration the e cell can be calculated by putting the values of er and el and subtracting both here also the e not will not be taken as the value of e not will be zero and this will give the equation 2.303 rt upon nf log c2 upon c1 so by this equation we can calculate the e cell of electrolyte concentration cell and different concentrations of the electrolyte solutions also uses of concentration cells concentration cells obviously not giving much amount of electricity so these are not useful for storage of energy but these are useful in different ways like the concentration cells are used to determine the solubility of sparingly soluble salt the solubility can be easily determined by using the concentration cells because it shows the different concentrations of two solutions to determine valency of cation of the electrolyte as we can calculate n value from the equation to determine transition point of the two allotropic forms of metal used as electrode if two electrodes are having same metal but allotropes are different then we can also determine that it is also very useful in a ph meter in right side a diagram of the ph electrode is given in which one glass electrode and a reference electrode is used and this is act as the concentration cell because the as ph changes the concentration of the h plus get changes and then it shows the change in ph so the concentration cells are very useful in determining some amounts but it is not useful for storage of the electricity electrochemical conventions and notations electrochemical conventions and notations are very useful in solving the numerical problems because these gives the basics about how to write the cells what is half cells how to write a complete cell what is the meaning of the two line or one line or a cell reaction etc which one will act as anode which one will act as cathode and the knowledge of these should be necessary to solve uh, before the solving the numerical problems so let's start the electrochemical conventions and notations uh, the first point for electrochemical convention and notation there are two electrodes in a galvanic cell each of these electrodes is referred to as half cell as we have already discussed that in each galvanic cell two half cells are there one half cell is act as anode and another act as cathode so these parts are separately known as half cells and on combining these two the complete galvanic cell is formed second point if reduction occurs at an electrode it is called reduction electrode or a positive electrode third point if oxidation occurs at electrode it is called an oxidation electrode or a negative electrode oxidation and reduction potential values of an electrode are numerically the same with opposite sign means always the oxidation potential and reduction potential are same for a single electrode like uh, copper is having a standard electrode potential of 0.34 it is its reduction potential if i am talking about the oxidation potential of copper this will become minus 0.34 that means what is the difference between oxidation potential and reduction potential only the difference of sign the magnitude will be same as per iupac the potential of an electrode is always expressed as reduction potential always it is given in reduction potential as we already discussed in the electrochemical series all the values are given in terms of reduction potential only irrespective of the reaction occurring at the electrode 
whether the reaction occurring at electrode is reduction or oxidation but always in an electrochemical series the value is given in form of reduction potential only the interface across which a potential develop is donated by either a single vertical line or a semicolon when writing a half cell or a complete cell the line between the electrode and electrolyte is given between these two and it is also sometimes shown by the semicolon so this line shows the interface between the electrode and the solution this complete shows that the copper is dipped in a solution of copper sulfate with one molar concentration seventh point representation of a cell will have the oxidation electrode anode on the left hand side and the reduction electrode cathode on the right hand side always the anode shows at left hand side and cathode shown at the right hand side that means if a cell representation is given it is clear that zinc is anode copper is cathode and zinc is dipped in zinc sulfate solution having molarity 1 and copper is dipped in a copper sulfate solution having molarity 1 the two line shows two vertical line shows presence of a salt bridge that means the salt bridge is present is present between the zinc sulfate solution and copper sulfate solution the emf of cell is represented by e cell is equals to er minus el er means right side e and el means left side e left side e represented by zinc half cell and right side e represented by copper half cell so by subtracting the value of right side e left side e from right side e you will get the value of e cell so these are some basic conventions and notations of electrochemistry which are very useful by this way if a cell notation is given you will be able to understand that which metal act as anode which metal act as cathode which electrode is dipped in which type of electrolyte solution and what is the concentration of that electrolyte solution these are very important for solving numerical problems these are some key equations and in these key equation the first one is nernst equation for an electrode if we are talking about the e of electrode it will be given by e not minus 2.303 upon nf rt log 1 upon mn plus so mn plus is the concentration of electrolyte and one is concentration of electrode as electrode is present in pure form so always the concentration of pure is taken as the unity nernst equation for a galvanic cell if we are talking about the nernst equation for a galvanic cell it will become e cell is equals to e not cell minus 0.0591 upon n log m1 n plus upon mn plus 2 that means the two different concentrations of the electrolytes in different half cells this can be given by taking at anode and cathode m1 is at anode and m2 as an cathode so here m1 is anode and m2 is cathode now the equation for equilibrium constant at equilibrium the value will become zero and this will become equals to e not cell minus rt upon nf log kc so by this way we can also calculate the value of kc why we are taking kc here because at equilibrium the q will be equal to kc and e cell will become zero because the reaction is in equilibrium the forward reaction will be equals to reverse reaction here 
all the equations are given which are useful in electrochemistry e not cell in terms of rt upon nf log k delta g that is gibbs energy minus nfe cell so remember all these equations for solving the numerical this is all for today thanks for listening carefully in next class we will again take a short recap of uh, key equations for solving numericals and we will take some numericals and solve those numericals thanks again